So what we got here are two electric motors. Now what electric motors do is that they convert electrical energy to mechanical energy. But at the same time they can also convert mechanical energy to electrical energy. For this reason I have two electric motors that are connected with a gear to each other. I'm going to supply this motor with electrical energy which is going to convert, it, convert the electrical energy to mechanical energy. The mechanical energy will then be transferred to this electric motor which will convert that into electrical energy. And then that electrical energy will go into this voltmeter and we'll be able to read the voltage of that voltmeter. So now I'm going to turn this electric motor on. Alright, so now the voltmeter is reading 9.6 volts. Now the interesting thing is, this battery is rated at 3.7 volts. Earlier we tested it, it had 4.8 volts left after I used to charge those yellow batteries. So what this means is, these electric motors right here are acting as a step-up transformer. They're acting as a DC to DC transformer. So what's happening is the electrical energy from this battery is going into this motor. And this motor inside here might have more coils or more powerful magnet. And it's converting this lower, the lower voltage that this electric motor is receiving and converting it to higher voltage with less current. As a result, this voltmeter reads 9.6 volts instead of 4.8 volts. All right, so what I got here are three LEDs connected in series. They each have a minimum voltage of 1.8 volts. So combined together, they have a minimum voltage of 5.4 volts, but this battery cell only produces 4.9 volts. Therefore, these lights do not light up. And however, if I use my fingers and put them here, you can see that this lights up a little bit because a little bit of current is being conducted through my skin. If I let go, it turns off. And if I put my finger back in, it turns it on. So to prove that this is a step-up transformer, we're going to connect this battery to this motor and connect these LEDs to that motor to show that it will light up. As you can see, the green lights are lighting up very brightly, and this is proof that this is a step-up transformer, and this is one way to transform a DC current mechanically. However, the problem with this is that it's impractical because it's big and heavy.